trained in Fort Riley for seven months. Uh, obviously, Fort Riley is dry, prairie. They sent it down to Macon Delta, which is wet rice paddy. You could go out on a three-day mission and see absolutely nothing. And then you could go out the next time and all hell would break loose. The Brownwater Navy, the front ramp goes down, you know, they can carry about a platoon. Basically a little box that's floating, no cover. God, if anybody dropped a grenade in you, they'd kill 30 people. One time we found a, a cache of 50 50 pound bags of rice that said donated by the people of the United States of America, and I don't know how they got their hands on it. You knew there were VC. Everybody used C4, used to the heat C rations. There was guys that were more proficient at it than others. In the Delta, you were extremely exposed because there wasn't that much vegetation. There was some. You know, you were out there. We had a major problem with snipers. For example, the officers and NCOs didn't wear their rank because the snipers would obviously focus on them. What I remember most about the Delta was the mud and the mosquitoes. You were wet all the time. Their feet would get this horrible jungle rot all over it. Actually, they had to rotate platoons out and let them go back on the naval ships to just dry out. And and maybe there was times that we just, you know they just said we don't have any info, but this is a good place to let's sweep through it. Uh, I, I don't. I don't recall thinking of myself as bait, but I remember thinking of myself as not having any idea what we're going into. The mud and the mosquitoes were un just unbearable, uh, more so than the firefight. We would get broad intelligence, you know, in the area you're going to, the, and I'm making this up because I can't remember the, exa the exact name, the, the 259th VC Regiment is known to be operating in that area. I think always was uh, uh, a foot underwater, it was just a marshy area that nobody wanted to go, but that's the kind of areas that the Viet Cong set up camps. And so we spent the night, and I remember laying in this water, and the only thing that was above the water was my face. And that had mud, mud on it. I don't know how I survived the night. I thought, I thought the mosquitoes were gonna kill me. I guess two endearing memories. Uh, one is uh, being wet all the time. And the other one is just being dog tired. I mean, first during the rainy season, it ran, rained every day. And you were just constantly soaked. And basically, you went in alone. You know, you kind of felt, holy Jesus, if there's anything here, we're gonna get, we're gonna get mowed down. And 
you know, one platoon would basically get some shut-eye, the other platoon would guard the perimeter, and the third platoon would go out and patrol. So you basically spent two nights out of three without any sleep. And after about three months of that, I weighed 129 pounds. Most of them were just, you know, peasant farmers who had a little little plot of rice paddy and uh, a water buffalo. They, you know, they just they wanted to be left alone. And you knew they were reporting on you. I mean, they were telling somebody, hey, uh, an American company just went through here, you know, or they appear to be heading towards you. I know they were doing that. I have no proof of it, but I know they were doing it. They never actually greeted us with with a lot of great enthusiasm. We spent the night in this small hamlet that uh, only had women, kids, and old old people. And then we left, and then we got a day later or so, two days later, we, we picked up a helicopter and brought back to that area because they'd seen VC in the area. And when we went back, all the women, kids, old people, everybody had been killed uh, by the VC. You know, they just wanted to live their lives. They, they could give a shit less who was in charge as long as, you know, they went about their lives. You know, we weren't there to harm them. Walk, walk, boring. Pull yourself out of the mud. I thought uh, the unit morale was was pretty good. There was this real strong camaraderie among among the guys that had been together for a while. You know, looking back, it probably didn't do me a whole lot of harm. I was a young, smart-ass kid. It made me grow up real fast, you know.